Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kuro. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys a little quick um, how-to guide to, uh, well, basically the easiest way to kill the stink bugs if you're having difficulty. I know they can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. So what you want to do is you want to come to this spot right here on the map, just, just on the ridge away from the uh, field station over here. Obviously, it's surrounded by a few... Um, few stink bugs and it's just right of um spade gulch as well so spade gulch is just there anyway so now you're on like this little uh you're on this little mountain over here now normally as you guys can see they're sleeping well one's kind of like i don't even know i think he's like semi aggroing the tree right now the other one's sleeping of course he sleeps right behind the fucking dandelion but anyway so like the i've the five find the two best ways one is well i forgot to bring it in my inventory but having the um equipping the uh, marksman cap or the marksman ship hat i think it's called marksman ship hat let me check yeah marksman cap is is going to do considerable amount more damage than without one so definitely always bring that with you and also have the um the sharpshooter um mutation equipped as well it just does so much more damage. Like I, I didn't think it would make much difference, but honestly, I think without those, the mutation, the sharpshooter mutation and the marksmanship cap, I'm pretty sure it took maybe like 10 plus shots to actually get them down. Whereas though with it, I think it was like three or four shots. It was pretty fucking, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, so once you've gone to this ridge here and you've got your marksmanship cap, you've got sharpshooter and mutation, you want to, sh oh, I don't think we're going to be able to get him because he's, Ah, fuck. All right. He's in a stupid spot. There we go. All right. So once you get them aggro, because you're on a ridge, they'll kind of just get close to you. See, as you guys can see, they won't actually, they won't actually gas you. So all you have to do is sit here, get their attention and just shoot them. They're not going to jump up. They're not going to gas you. They can't hurt you. It's kind of like the perfect spot. It's a little bit of a cheat spot, really. But honestly, there's like two or three of them. As you guys can see, there's another two of them over there. So this is a perfect like, opportunity for you guys to just sit here with a bunch of arrows. Like I said, you could probably get away with like 20 arrows and you can kill all these guys. Now, if you wanted to get more a bit, well, a bit more hands-on, what you want to do is... I don't even think I can do it, actually. I always get myself killed doing it, the hands-on version. We'll get them low. So I only have to hit them a few times. Basically, they have um, they have a few different abilities, like a few attacks. One of them, it just pounces on you and then releases the gas. And then the other one's relatively similar. But like, you want to wait until you kind of want to like, you want it to do the gas attack. And then you want it to also follow you through the gas. Because then it has like a certain, like it has almost like a, a time delay before it can then redo that attack. We'll try and get it here. All right, as you guys can see, so he's going to go aggro and he's going to jump. I don't think he can. Ready? So he's going to jump. Ah, he always makes the sound as if he's going to go, but then he gets blocked on something. All right, there we go. As you guys can see, so he gassed, but if we still get his attention, he'll still crawl. If obviously if these stupid trees were here, see how he still fucking comes after us because he's aggro. You want him to then come out of the gas so you don't get hurt. And then you go hands on with the, um, well, with whatever weapon you're using, really. But yeah, so don't get me wrong. I'd never really like to go hands on because they're really, they find them really unpredictable. But honestly, this place up here works perfect. Just sit up here. They don't climb up once they go aggro and you can just take them out. Honestly, there's like three or four that spawn around here. So it's probably all you're going to need. I don't think you're really going to spend that many um, stink bug parts or the gas sacks. Uh, within the time that it takes for them to respawn anyway. So I think like two sleeps, you can come back here and there's another four, you know what I mean? So it's um, it's it's relatively pretty easy, you know what I mean? So uh, I hope this guy has, this uh, helped you out. If you have if you were struggling, like I did right at the start, I always avoided the stink bugs. Uh, I always found them more difficult than wolf spiders originally actually. But uh, yeah, so I hope this helped you out. Like, comment, subscribe as always, and I shall see you guys in another video. Take it easy guys. Peace.